Hello everyone, welcome to ISBR Vlogs and in this vlog we're going to talk about uh, rural immersion program that has been included this year. So we'll be talking about the significance of rural immersion, we'll be talking to students, to professor, why this particular course has been included. So let's dive in. USD per person and uh, it was expanded as on 20th of March, Are you tense about the presentation of Abhishek? His face speaks. Yeah. He is. Yeah, very nice. Like this and say it. You are actually discussing the whole case. Hmm? You are getting it? Yeah, fine. Next slide. Included in this study is Quickness Cost. They use a very licensed EHR, EHS electronic health records uh, subsidiary. So the importance of including the rural immersion course in this semester. Yeah, we did talk about why immersion in the class also. We did have a lot of uh, good opinions from the students also. Basically, uh, once we say that more than 60% of the population is in the rural area, so understanding their problems and then trying to solve them. For an MBA graduate, it is basically uh, problem solving is one of the aspects which they will actually emphasize upon throughout their uh, curriculum also and in their uh, later career also. Stakeholders in any socio-environmental change or movement are always the residents of that particular area. So because it is them who are most likely the victims of the problem and also in some cases they are the ones who might be a part of the cause for the problem. So when actually uh, the rural problems are thrown to them, then how do they actually work on it? How do they address these? Um, that becomes a very good opportunity for them to understand a problem, uh, understand the root causes of the problem and which are the possible solutions for that problem. And if at all there are solutions which are, which are already, uh, you know, uh, uh, modeled already, and uh, all these things, the study will actually help them analyze how to handle the problem altogether. So rural problems are the things which need to be addressed. As I already said, it's one of the factors is it's a potential market. Okay, you cannot actually neglect the 60% of the population. When you actually talk of uh, uh, that is one aspect, business aspect basically and uh, creating empathy with the rural mass is very important. The advantage would, uh, wouldn't be transferred to the stakeholders. So the root cause, was, uh, the root cause of the scheme was that according to national health... Uh, that's one thing rural Im uh, immersion program makes them do it. And um, yes, problem solving as I already said. All these things will give them a fair idea of... I mean, Understanding the rural thing, one is one aspect. Apart from that, understanding um, the application of what they learn in their curriculum. Okay. Like we also make them do projects, social projects, uh, the projects which are actually inclined towards the social development. Now apply all the project management principles for this particular project execution. It is actually your... Uh, uh, it's a basic learning. There is a live project which you will be working on yeah. and you can see the impact you yourself has cre have created. Okay. That's very satisfying at the end of the day. Through semi-permeable membrane to the higher solute concentrations and the reverse osmosis process also takes place from where higher con concrete solutes, they go from semi-permeable to low. low. Project mode is what we are thinking and we are trying to implement and the students have been assigned with different projects nowadays and they will be starting to work on that. So then you will realize, okay, this is what I have learned in the class. Now let me apply this in this. So the actual application when it happens, only then learning happens. Yeah, ma'am. Okay, that's one aspect which is very important in rural immersion. And understanding the society is so important. I mean, like you can't be aloof with your society. Yeah, ma I can just, I can't just sit with my studies and complete my MBA and get into a job. No, when you are actually solving a problem, when you are actually on ground working later also, um, you have to understand your society better. Exactly. Okay. And if you don't have empathy towards so many things in the society, probably you will not even fit into any setup later. Part of India lies in its villages. 
And we are here to discuss a case in which a village turns itself into a modern village. The name of the village, as you can see, is Juwala Palim. It is located in the Kala Mandal in West Godavari district of Andhra Pradesh. So the whole idea here is making you guys understand self, society, and your surrounding. Thank you so much. So those are the things which probably uh, rural immersion emphasizes on. And yeah, we are go going good with it. We are bringing in a lot of concepts. We did have sessions on uh, project management today, at least the basics. And uh, yeah, some design thinking, which they have already learned in the class. So trying to inculcate all those things on the social media. Thank you so much, ma'am. It was great talking to you. Thank, Thank you, you ma'am. Thank you, guys. I believe that rural immersion is important because uh, most states uh, and most of the people are comprising from the rural rural areas. So developing them and the untapped market as a business uh, student is very vital for us. Rural immersion is important because I think the opportunities of entrepreneurship have not been explored in rural India. And okay. I think rural entrepreneurship is the way forward.